So today we're going to be taking a look at a fairly common theme which is burning and mounting ISO files. I made a video about this a few years ago when I was still doing videos on the Wyndham Height O-Team channel and the video went down really really well, got a lot of views and um, I thought I'd update it and just make it run a little bit smoother this time and also include Windows 10 in that video. So let's start. So the first operating systems we're going to look at are Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Windows 10 running here and Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 do recognize ISO files such as this one here. You see they count this little disk picture here because obviously an ISO file is a disk image so it contains the contents of a CD or a DVD in one file. Now in Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, if you want to burn the ISO to a CD or a DVD, which is uh, basically the process of copying the files that are inside this image onto a CD or DVD, we simply right click on the file and then we click on burn disk image. Now the Windows disk image burner is a component that's been inside of Windows since Windows 7 which we're about to look at in a few minutes and if you actually have a DVD drive inside of your computer, I don't on this one, but if you did the uh, drive letter would be here and then you simply click burn after putting a blank CD or DVD in your uh, disk drive and then that would go through the process of copying all the files inside the ISO onto the DVD or CD so then you have a um, yeah CD or DVD with that ISO on it. So um, because a lot of computers these days don't actually have CD or DVD drives and because it's a bit of a faff to have to keep burning CDs or DVDs just to see the contents of an ISO file you know most of the time when you've got an ISO file you just want to install the software or see what's in it or something like that without actually having to go and find a disk and then burn it uh, in Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 if you simply double click on an ISO it actually opens up and this is the process called mounting. Now what mounting does is it's basically like, um, the best way to describe it is it's like a virtual CD or DVD drive. So think of it as when you mount an ISO file, this ISO here becomes like a virtual CD or DVD. It gets put in a virtual CD or DVD drive and then you can open up the ISO, uh, see what's see what's in it and uh, install any software you need. If you go into this PC you can actually see that the um, ISO, <laughs> it, you double click on the ISO it actually thinks it's a DVD drive when it's not. It's just a virtual one because it's been mounted. But this is really great if you just need to open an ISO file and see what's in it without actually having to burn it to a, a CD or a DVD. So now we're going to take a look at Windows 7 and Windows 8, not Windows 8.1, just the regular Windows 8, the first version that Microsoft released. And both of these operating systems actually have the Windows Disk Image Burner as part of them. Windows 7 was the first version to include it. So by default, if you double click on an ISO, it will open up the Windows Disk Image Burner and then as explained a few minutes ago, select the Disk Burner Drive, click Burn, and then as long as you've got a blank CD or DVD in the drive, that'll actually start burning the ISO. Now, these operating systems don't actually have any mounting support as uh, default, so there are other ways that you have to do it using third-party software. Some people like to use tools like Daemon, uh, Daemon Tools Lite, which are the free version of Daemon Tools, which you can use to mount ISOs. You can actually burn ISOs with that as well. But what I quite like to do is actually use a program called 7-Zip. So if you go into your internet browser, go to 7-Zip.org and then download either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of 7-Zip. And then once you've downloaded it, you just need to go and install that, which I shall do now. So let me just go and find the installer file for 7-Zip, which is here. It's a very uh, quick, easy, free installation. So just run through the install it literally takes a few seconds and then once you've installed 7-zip you can actually right click on the ISO and then once you've done that you can see there's an option here for 7-zip and then if you choose extract files that will actually um, create a folder 
in the uh, same folder that the ISO is in and it will actually start taking all of the files out of the ISO and putting it into that folder. Now this isn't really mounting, it's kind of the closest thing there is to it. This is basically just taking the files out of the ISO and uh, sticking it in a folder whereas mounting is actually the process of kind of making the ISO a virtual CD or DVD. doesn't really matter. The fact is, is that you can actually still access all the files in the ISO without, um, without actually having to burn it to a CD or DVD. The disadvantage is it actually can take a little bit of time because this is basically like extracting a zip archive. So the faster your computer is, the better this is, whereas mounting an ISO is pretty much instant. So there are two ways in which you can actually kind of mount or at least see the files in an ISO in Windows 7 or Windows 8. So Windows 7 was the first version of Windows to come with inbuilt ISO burning capabilities with the Windows Disk Image Burner program. So Windows Vista and older, so that includes XP, 2000 and all the rest of them, don't actually um, include any software that allows you to burn ISO files so what you need to do is install some alternative software such as CD Burner XP which does work on Windows Vista and later despite having XP in the name uh, Image Burn or Active ISO Burner or something like that they're all free and you can download them from the internet so in Windows Vista and older ISO files aren't recognized as you can see here so once you've installed one of those free image burners you can right click on the uh, ISO, go to properties and you see here it says opens with and because it's not recognized it says Windows Shell, uh, Windows Shell, click change there and then find the program that you have installed so sometimes you might need to go to browse and then actually look in uh, program files so in the case of CD Burner XP you do so uh, go into program files find the program that you've uh, installed and then OK that, OK that and then double click on the ISO and the um, the program that you downloaded and installed to burn ISOs will open and then if you click burn disk or um, whatever the program says usually they say burn or something like that then that will burn the ISO using 7-zip to extract the files out of the ISO rather than mounting it also works and if daemon tools or any other mounting program works on Vista or XP or older then you can use that too. So thanks for watching my video on how to burn and mount ISOs, hopefully this was helpful for you.